1-1 in Mario is the most iconic video game level ever. 1-1 in every Mario game is simple and fun to run through, giving the player an understanding of the controls. But I was wondering, out of every 1-1 level in the Mario series, what one is the fastest to complete? I'll be playing 1-1 from every mainline 2D Mario game, starting with Super Mario Bros and ending with Super Mario Bros Wonder. We will not be playing the 3D Mario games, the Advanced series, Super Mario All-Stars, or New Super Luigi U, since they are remakes, spin-offs, or too different from the classic 2D Mario formula. The only rules for this challenge are levels must be beaten as if they are played on fresh saves, so we can't enter the level of items or anything to help us out. And before we start, I just wanted to remind you to subscribe to the channel channel because it really helps the channel grow. So let's get into the video. Starting off with Super Mario Bros, I probably played this level over a hundred times at this point. It's the most iconic video game level ever. All I had to do was strategize if it was faster to take the pipe route or the normal route. And after testing, the pipe route is definitely faster. Another difficult part of this level was attempting perfect stairs. This is where you climb up the stairs without bonking into them to maintain your speed. It took me a few attempts to get used to the physics, but after some practice, I managed to get a time of 19.37 seconds while doing perfect stairs. Honestly not bad. And also, if you want to see the uncut run of these levels, a link will be in the description of my attempts. Next up is Super Mario Bros 2, the USA version. Before I started, I practiced the level a little bit to get a general route. I decided to take the bomb route because I didn't want to deal with this vine section and it's a bit faster. Since this game allows us to pick our character, I obviously went with Toad because he's the fastest. The only issue was that I am really, really bad at this game. Although I messed up a few times, on my third attempt, I got a time of 1 minute and 12.69 seconds. Nice. For all the mistakes I made, I'm pretty happy with this time. And now it's time for hell. Lost Levels is the game I'm least familiar with, and being the Lost Levels, of course the first level is BS. There are a lot of piranha pipes, so you have to jump near perfectly to avoid them, on top of doing perfect stairs at the end. The layout isn't that difficult if you're taking your time, but moving fast, this level is an absolute nightmare. However, there is a star in this level. Honestly, I'm not sure if stars increase your speed in this game, but it lets me kill most of the piranhas and enemies that I have to avoid, so I decided to go for it. I got a time of 26.59 seconds, and that is after taking ample time to grab the star and failing perfect stairs. Not too happy with this time, but I hate this game, so let's move on. Super Mario Bros. is still in the lead for the fastest time. Next up is a game that I actually want to play, Super Mario Bros. 3. Although I'm accustomed to the first level, it still gave me some trouble to speedrun. The piranhas were quite cumbersome, because no matter how hard I tried, I could not jump over them. So I just decided to wait for the piranha to finish spinning its fireball. It actually took me a lot of attempts to get this, as a lot of my deaths were incredibly stupid. I even tested it to see if it was faster if I grabbed a raccoon suit, and it definitely isn't. So after a lot of trial and error, I cleared this course in 19.26 seconds. Super Mario Bros. 3 is in the lead for the fastest first level, just passing Super Mario Bros. by 0.11 seconds. And now it's time for Super Mario World, and immediately, there's an issue. There really isn't a first level in this game. There are two levels that you have access to when you start a new save. Yoshi's Island 1 leads to a dead end, and Yoshi's Island 2 lets you progress in the game. I decided to just play both to avoid comments complaining that I chose one over the other. Oddly enough, the first level is way more difficult than the second one. There are a lot of enemies to avoid, and huge Banzai bills that Mario has to duck under. Honestly, the worst part about Mario World is gaining momentum. Momentum is really wonky in this game. If you jump while trying to gain speed, Mario loses basically all of it. And if you try to run across a tiny platform, Mario just stopped sprinting for some reason. Thankfully, I got used to this issue after playing for a bit. The first 10 minutes of routing I spent trying to find a solid path to avoid enemies, but I could just not avoid the Banzai builds without wasting a lot of time. But then, I remember that checkpoints don't freeze your game and waste time, which gives Mario an extra hit point. I use it to damage boost through the first Banzai bill, and then I get access to a shell before another Banzai bill, which is great because I can clear all the enemies in my path. So after around 50 attempts, I cleared the level in 33.42 seconds. Pretty slow time, but this level is pretty long and there's a lot of waiting. Moving on to the actual first level, it's easy as pie. There's barely any enemies, and the ones that there are are easy to avoid. I cleared this level in 27.60 seconds, which may sound bad, but this level is pretty long. Super Mario Bros. 3 is still in the lead. Super Mario Land is by far my least played Mario game, so I have basically no experience with it. 
And let me tell you, speedrunning the first level was rough. The physics in this game actually suck. Mario drops like a brick. The building up speed is really weird, and I feel like my jumps are delayed. I don't know if it's because I'm playing on Switch Online, or it's the game, but jumping just doesn't feel good. It's not like this level is difficult, it just feels like I'm not in control. I died so many times because I feel like I just can't control my jumps, but I finally got the hang of it, and I finished the level in around 30.82 seconds, which is miles better than what I thought I would get. And now we get to play an actual good 2D Mario, which is Super Mario Land 2. I've played the first level so many times, it's pretty much engraved into my mind. There are barely any enemies, and the jumps are fairly simple. However, since it's a long level, and Mario doesn't really move that fast, I finished the level in 47.26 seconds, and although I made a few mistakes, I'm pretty happy with this time. It's now time for the modern games. I've played a ton of new Super Mario Bros, so I know the first level pretty well. The only real issue was that I'm playing on an emulator, and I'm not really used to the button delay. After a lot of failed attempts, I managed to beat the level in 26.15 seconds, which is longer than I expected, but oh well. And next up is new Super Mario Bros Wii, which I'm very familiar with. This level was mostly barren, so I managed to complete it in around 34 seconds, which I expected, because this is a pretty long level. New Super Mario Mario Bros 2 was more the same. The level has barely any enemies and it's really easy, so I was able to complete it in 28.55 seconds on my first try. For the final new Super Mario Bros game, New Super Mario Bros U. It took me a few attempts to get used to the level, but it's also very easy, so I managed to finish in 37.73 seconds. Next up is Super Mario Run, and this game is an auto runner, so there really isn't much we can do to optimize our route. I chose Toad because he's the fastest character in the game, and managed to get a time of 39.85 seconds, which is honestly slower than I thought, but this is a long level, so it's kind of understandable. Honestly, these games were super boring to speedrun, because they felt the exact same. But onto the final game, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, it's actually unique. The most obvious way to complete this level fast is use the Jet Run badge, but as I said in the beginning, we are playing it as it is a fresh save file, so no badges are allowed. This was actually the easiest level that I had to play, and I got a time of 35.79 seconds. Not too groundbreaking of a time, but it is a long level, so I expected at least over 30 seconds. In conclusion, the Mario game with the shortest first level is Super Mario Bros. 3 at a time of 19.26 seconds, and not far behind is Super Mario Bros at a time of 19.37 seconds. The longest first level belongs to Super Mario Bros 2 at a time of 1 minute and 12.69 seconds. Here are all the levels listed from shortest to longest, and I'm pretty surprised with the result. Obviously, I'm not very experienced with 2D Mario speedrunning, but I think this is the approximate times the average gamer will take to complete these levels. So thanks so much for watching this seemingly random video, and make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you in the next one, peace.